We are rating, no, you've asked for this. We are going to be rating your watch collection. I don't know why they asked for it, but we're, <laughs> we're doing it. So you guys have asked for this. We are going to be rating your watch collection. Quite yeah. a few watch collections. They, yeah. they, honestly, they literally asked for it. Metaphysical. Who asked? How about a rate my watch collection segment where viewers submit their collections? Yeah, thank you. It, it feels like, what is this? Is it, is it metaphysical? BDSM or? That was you. No, no, but, it's, it's, but he said a section. A section. We're going to do a whole episode on oh, this. Let's yeah, do an episode. Sorry. I mean, like, this we're is going to be whole, awesome. We took this to the 11th. Like we're, we're going all in. We're going we're, all we're, in. We're, we're, we're going big. Before we do, can I, can I crack a joke? I've, I've got a. <laughs> can, 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 you've can been we... sitting on this. Okay. <laughs> Andrew literally has said, I'm going to tell a joke in this episode. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> laughing. I'm already laughing uh, inside. You ready? What do you call a chicken looking at lettuce? A chicken looking at lettuce. Don't know. A chicken sees a salad. Oh, Dad! <laughs> I'm out. Oh, please, just go on that note. Can we do a wrist roll? You were trying so hard not to laugh, man. Oh my God, no! It. It's hurt you. No, it's Let funny it that you like think it. that was like a good it. joke. <laughs> Is it I bad that I like dad, it? Dad jokes. Where do these jokes come from? It's like, oh my God. There's an account. Dad says jokes. And they are. Is it run by 90, you? Oh, I wish. I'm not on. This is like ninja level dad jokes. But I read that one. I'm like, that has got to go on the show. Talking about accounts, yeah. give <laughs> us a follow about dof, dot effing dot time on Instagram. That's how we do these little interactions. Ask for your feedback, ask for your questions, Q and A's, and then you guys can submit episodes. Episode ideas. Guys, what do we have on the wrist? Oof, I am going to try and get into camera from this position. This yeah. is the Bamford what GMT. Nice it is nice. I, this is my first experience with this. I saw this come out and I was like, George, that is spicy. It's like, a, it's like an ice blue. It's a glacier, it reminds me of like a platinum it's Rolex. It's a gla glacier yeah, blue dye. Glacier blue, but then it's also on the, on the Rehort. And then the, the titanium is such a light color. Yeah. Like it's really lovely, and then the white. I wish yeah. I'd had this for I summer. Just do that as well, because I always love one on GMT, just the internal it. rotating bezel. Yeah, nice. So yeah, that's me, it's, and it's super. Proper holiday watch. It's got that glacier vibe. It's, it's. I feel like I would be five degrees cooler if I wore this watch. I didn't tell dad jokes. Yep. George, what yeah. have you got? No, you go because <laughs> it, it feels like it's shilling of us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll shill Reddits because they, they need yeah, a bit of help odd. when it comes to selling watches. Uh, this is my uh, two-tone root beer GMT Master 2. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of wrist time, if I'm honest, because uh, nothing beats my little Explorer, but I thought I'd... Really? I never wrist. noticed that about yeah. your Explorer. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that on your wrist much. It's been, at least, it's been yeah. at least one and episode. And I kind of like one. that on your wrist. It's kind of something different. It's a bit bit kind of half baller. Yeah, but I, I'm not a fan of the bracelet. I feel like the bracelet is... It, it, it would be needs better a if strap. it was... It needs a strap. Or I, I wonder what it would look like if it was on a Jubilee. Two-tone Jubilee. Ooh. Damn. I think it would be quite nice. You're making me regret selling mine. Oh. I might sell mine. Yep. George, what have you got on the wrist? <laughs> I have got something that we have done, sold out. It is uh, something that um, I did. It's 20 years of Banff Watch Department. Um, oh, really? So ah. this is my 20th anniversary. This is the prototype. Uh, it's a solid gold um, Banff for GMT. Um, and this, um, we didn't even put on the internet. So this is the first time you guys are going to see this. So, Exclusive. So just so, this needs to be a really late episode, just so you know. <laughs> um, but basically, this is the prototype. It has a, it will have a gold buckle. Um, and you're seeing something before anyone else. I, I love this kind of John Player special kind of colorways. Um, and for me, Joe Cool and Snoopy in 20th. And we only did 20 pieces. So for the, for the, People playing along at home that know the show, they know that you considered doing a different 20th anniversary watch. Yes. And this is, remember? Uh, and everyone yeah, said, yeah, are yeah. you still yeah, going to yeah. do one? Yeah. Yes, he did. I did. That's why I brought it back. So I didn't, I... I, I Full I, circle. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's one of those that I'm really, really pleased to have. And I'm pleased at the support from my customers. I always say, you can get on without us. We can't get on without you. And it is exactly the same like with that. about effing time. Yeah. You like and subscribe us. Us. You are a part of our community, so you can get on without us. We can't get on without you. So please 
like, subscribe, and be a part of this community because this is where, what are we doing now? Exactly, and we are doing season four, and this is thanks to you guys who have sponsored us through our episodes. No? Where you have subscribed to our podcast. <laughs> uh, we have this premium podcast, which allows for this to be free. Uh, the premium podcast is a behind the scenes chat with us every week, every Sunday night, every Monday morning. We release a podcast, it's about half an hour. Yeah. Half yeah. an hour, 40 minutes. And we Andrew wants longer, but anyway. Um, <laughs> His wife wants but, but do <laughs> Oh no! Um, do you want it all? Should happy. we go? Should we go, in, <laughs> should we go into the episode? Let's do it. Let's rate your watches. You yeah. asked for this, um, and it's, is it, uh, this is about effing time. It's about effing time. <laughs> we destroy your watch collection. Woo! No, in all seriousness, I, f I feel like we we need to say that this this is just our individual opinions. We aren't dictating. We have a little bit of pre-talk in the green room. How on... hard are we going to go? How are we going to be diplomatic? Are we going to be? So I think we're just got to be how we are, right? Like yeah. if I really love something you're going to hear it if not yeah now the rules um, of the game there there is a little very simple gamification happening here which is that down the side of the screen marcus is going to do some kind of one to ten scenario we're just going to throw out a number to give our feelings in a numerical form for each collection and then that number will be averaged out to see who wins the day because you did ask to be rated Adrian. yeah ask, that's it they didn't ask yeah give us you know give us a variety of compliments about our collection yeah they said don't, don't rate don't, them don't suck up so we'll um, give a number so we've had so many people submitting their watch collections to us. You were showing which, me before. It's just yeah, an the, endless scroll. I, I opened up the DMs today. And it was, it was yeah. absolutely insane. So well, I, thank I, you. I, yeah, yeah, thank you. And thank you. Um, and, and also, I, I feel like you're a bit... Is it sadistic when you, you want things to happen, bad things to happen to Masochistic. you? Masochistic. Masochistic. That's it. But, but what, if you want bad things to happen to other people, that's one of our cards say? Oh, right. <laughs> what do I, one of our cards say? Yeah. We're not here to... Budge spiders. We're here to rate watches. We're here to rate watches. Yeah. First one is from me underscore watching. If you don't want your Instagram account read out, my apologies. I feel brave, he's just said. He's just that. said, yeah. I feel brave and you shouldn't do. Because we are going to rip. No, I, yeah. I actually, um, this is, how do we do this? I'm just going to. No, will you read out what they are? So we, we've got the Bond Seamaster. On a NATO strap. No Bar time to die, Seamaster. Yeah, I think it is. Bar yeah. uh, we have a Doxa. Oh, the Doxa Clive Hustler. That's a ribbed, Ooh, that's a ribbed one. Uh, that's, a ribbed one. That's, that's not my NATO strap. That's, that's someone else's. It could be cheapest. So we've got the Omega Seamaster 300. I think mm -hmm. that's the, the, the reissue. We've got a Fortis Pilot Chronograph. And then we've got a Submariner. And the top level, we've got the No Time to Die, the Doxa Hustler, and a Speedy. Wow. Thoughts and feelings. Who's going? You know what? I, I actually really like this collection. I knew you would say that. <laughs> I knew you would say that. It feels my, my, my quite vanilla of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It does feel you. This, it, this, this is my, um, my favourite Seamaster. Yeah, one of my favourite uh, Omegas. The, the price is moronic, but um, it, it, as a model, it's fantastic. Again, absolutely love the Speedy. Uh, the Fortis... That wouldn't be my choice, but I'd, I love this style. Uh, again, I appreciate this. IWC. This doctor was an interesting one. Mm, I that's feel like a surprise chestnut. Yeah, yeah. I, but I'd, I'd, it annoyed me they went so far, so hard on the gimmicky side of the watch. Mm. I'd, I'd, I don't like the, the faux compass, the faux dial. I, I really loved how they aged the bracelet and aged the case. I thought that was yes, sexy. because it was like that G-Shock with the uh, ion-plated G-Shock, which yes. had pre-aged to it as well. Yeah. But you're right. I think the combination of it was just a little bit too many ideas maybe at once. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the thing is, if you look at his collection, that's it the does surprise. Feel... Yes. That's the yeah, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everything else, I knew you would say, I like this collection because one, it's two, boring three, as shit. four, That's five. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that feels very you. This is a surprise. Yeah. The doctor yeah. is a this, surprise. I think if we're going to guide this person in any direction, just because you've got Go icon crazy. here, icon here. I, I agree. This is the best Seamaster. Uh, I think that this is, uh, the, the money is hard to justify, but it is a watch that every time I see it, I just fall in love with it it's again. Gorgeous, yeah. So Icon, Icon, probably the best Seamaster. I feel like this is a this is a little bit uh, of a double up with the Submariner and potentially the Seamaster as well. I, I think that's better than the Submariner for my personal. You do? But I think more like this, this is this is the character piece. So mm. this is a solid this is collection. The talking point. It's a really solid collection. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the talking yeah, yeah, point. Yeah. Everything else I feel like I've 
I've been a part of and I've seen before. That's the one I wanted to see more of. Yeah. Also, one agree. other thing before we move on is just that this this person is uh, really hacking straps, which is fun. Yeah. yeah. Putting NATOs on. That's why it feels watches, very Asian. Yeah. Like a rub, like an Everest style rubber strap here. So yeah. what are we going to rate this? Well, we wait individually. Go for yeah. it. I'd, I'd give this an eight out of ten. I think it's a solid. Ooh. I'm going to go seven and a half. You can't. Oh no! How can you do? Okay. Darren's adding them up. He's going to. Oh, he's going to average okay. them out. Okay. I, I, can we do I, halves or not? Do we just want solid numbers? Do seven. Numbers? So, I'm going to get seven. seven. Yep. Do seven, and I, I'm going to go with you on eight. I okay. because no, really? I think the redeeming feature is that. But okay. I, I yeah. but I, I'm I'm one of those that um, if you've got um, Simon Cowell and the guys on the thing, I'm probably the one that's going. Oh, I love your collection. <laughs> so I'm going to be one of those. You know that I'm going to be racing. Cool. That so okay. the aggregate there is seven point seven. Um, if if we look at this through the eyes of a watch meetup, if you saw this on a table, I'd, I wouldn't talk to this guy. Probably not, because seventy percent is Rolex and Omega. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the, the only thing we are talking about is, is, is so the that's interesting. But obviously, the, maybe this is the. I think this would be the last purchase out of here because yeah. that's a recent piece. So True. keep going yeah. in this direction. These, these, moving these the right two direction. are the kind of yeah. seven point yeah. seven is a really good aggregate score. Well done. Yeah. Nice. So next up we have Adrian Kelly. Good name, buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's. Oh, you've written us as an essay. <laughs> it, it, he's he's a jazz trumpeter uh, oh, from Australia, I think. Wow. Oh, cool. And he's got quite the wow. wide collection oh, going on here. Oh my god. So we've got is a Cartier. Has he nicked your watch? Yeah, but he's put it on a terrible oh, strap. That's not my strap. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is quite a wide collection. We've got one of the higher end uh, G Shocks. We've got a Cartier. We've got a Tag. We've got Chris. a Longines. We've got a. a Time Seiko. only Rolex. Is this a tuner? That's a Seiko Save the Ocean. It's yeah, Save the it's Ocean. All right. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dorado watch... and uh, Christopher, Christopher Ward. Ward. And then, and then Ukraine these two. The yeah, Ukraine, Ukraine Christopher Ward. Yeah. So he, he talks about how how he he buys various watches um, after his musical projects, oh, albums cool. being. Wow. Launched. Each of them have. So these are after. talismans in their yeah. own way. And and the Rolex was bought after his his uh, dad bought himself a Rolex uh, with with a, a first good paycheck, and he he wanted to follow suit, and so he he bought himself a Rolex with with a good first paycheck, which I think is pretty cool. I like what you said. If this was at a table at a meetup, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that every time now because I'm talking to this guy. Yeah, one hundred percent. I want to hang out with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to want to hang out. I want to ask why, what, how. Tell me the story of each watch. You know, for me, like I even that Rado, I'm like, yeah. actually now when you talk about he's a musician, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of feel like a, a trumpet. I feel like the colours work very. You know, everything about him, I'm like going that Seiko just. It's it's a cool set and and even the G Shock. I'm, yeah. I love that you've got a yeah. G Shock there because and it's a G Shock that I haven't kind of gone, oh my God, I wanted it. Now I'm seeing this collection together. I'm, I'm wanting to go and hang out with you and see that G-Shock on your wrist. Yeah, although there's, there's nothing, although I, I own that, um, the, the, the Moon Swatch. Do you? Nothing here really jumps out as being something that I'd buy, but as a unit, as a collection, oh. I actually think this is a fantastic- Tells a story. It's a fantastic collection. You've got the beefy diver, you've got the more dainty daily, you've got the Cartier. true yeah. dress watch. This is a proper jazz. Trumpeter's watch. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just yeah, yeah, yeah. that's in the Rado for me. Yes, like, the Rado. those two. Yes, are, are I kind of like they you. feel like actually you can you know dark room just this music. Deco era, nineteen twenties, like yeah. the sexy. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna say yeah. And then, and then this, this, this is a that's solid eight. Cool. This is yeah. solid eight for me. This has just got massive eight vibes for me. And nine. And, and these two nine. together, nine, nine. nine. Wow, like this, these two like together, this. I feel like are beautifully contrasting. Yeah. And oh, that's, yeah. I, I like that. And, and, and this why, is really great as well. Why I'm saying nine is because I like how they're different. They're jumping over the point. They're, they're, you know, and he's different vibes. Yeah. Different sizes, yeah. different straps, different intentions. We've got a, a piece here in, for Ukraine, which obviously this was a good person. What do you think? I'd actually give this a 10. I think this is... Whoa! This is... You're dropping Ooh, a 10 hello, yeah. already! I, 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 I think as, as a collection, I think this is yeah. really solid. I feel really happy looking at this. Yeah. I, I don't know, this is a great person. So it's, yeah. it's a 9 as an average. And what what, is what I really like about this is it, it isn't a collection full of relics. It isn't yeah. a collection full of yes. Omega. There's, there's one of everything. And, and it it's... feels right. Okay, I've got a good chance for each of us. Add one watch to, to, to make this a 10. Because for me, I can get this from an 8 to a 9 or a 10 by adding one watch, but you tell me what you would add. Or, or do you, it's at a 10. How do you No, I'd, 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 I think this is, for me, the Rado does absolutely nothing. But when, when you put it into the context of, of a, a jazz 
trumpeter, jazz music, musician, they're not looking for the vanilla. They're not. I'd say that the the the, um, the Tag Heuer and the Rolex are probably the the most vanilla there. Mm. Um, I, I don't know what I'd add okay. because I, I well, feel like this, ten, so that I feel like this covers all the bases. George, I do you know? For me, I feel like it needs a vintage something else like a snowdrop or a, it feels like it needs what's a snowdrop snowdrop is a um is a jaeger lacoutre snowdrop and it's a circular watch it needs something that's a weirder i've got something pace. george i think we're in the same place okay a vintage hamilton ventura yeah okay yes exactly it needs yeah. it needs something this, yeah it needs something that's what i mean it needs another type of yeah. case it needs yeah. just we're one other exactly the same weird case. weirder it weird. needs you know or like when i was looking at cartier you know you the um um centrique or you know i was keep, keep on yes something asymmetric something something this some, is elvis's watch yeah, so that, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what i i, I feel like miles davis wore a hamilton yeah, as well so i i think it just needs something but go on the vintage side. Something. Mm. Go and explore some weird and yes. wonderful cases. One of the Zeniths from yesterday. Yeah, it could even be that. Anyway, this <laughs> we love. Well this. done. Yeah, that's, that's well you done. Got a ten from him. So, 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 so oh my god, another essay. Are you a bit like me? You're just bored of wearing plain white t-shirts all the time? Well, check this out. That's pretty cool, right? About effing time. What about this one? Army green. How about effing time? This is my favourite one. Captain Boring. You've got to get to Captain Boring. Now, what about this? Marcus, I'm, I'm a dinosaur now. Just clap again. Marcus. So this is, I don't know how we're going to say your name. Uh, Ilimo, sen, it could be Senior. Well, that's impossible. Yeah. There's an Adrian in there, so There's an Adrian. that's why you chose Another that. Adrian. Yep. And it goes on even further because yeah. it's dot, 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 dot. limo driving doctor who's also a Senior. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sorry. So uh, this is, uh, I'll have to zoom Ooh, in. Zen. So we've got uh, Hamilton Khaki. I don't know what this uh, Schofield. is. Schofield. Schofield. Oh, yeah, right, really right. nice. We've got a 5513 homage by uh, Steinhardt. We've got a, a Zenith. Zenith. Open Heart. Open yeah. Heart. Relic Explorer. Awesome. Yeah. G-Shock. Uh, G-Shock. And down the bottom, we've got, what's connect? Is this a tag connect? What is it? Garmin. Garmin, yep. Yeah. Uh, Phil and Mari. Phil and Mari. Oh, nice. Baltic. Bronze. It looks like a Baltic. Yeah. Or Uni. Yeah. It's a. Or, yeah. Yeah, Unimatic. 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 Oh, yeah. That's... I know what it is, but I don't know what the name is. Oh, that's a Serica. That's it. Baltic. Yeah. And then have This is not... a good game for us to actually be able to recognize. I have no them. idea what this is. It's like a Sarpanova, but it's not. on the Baltic. Don't this, know what that is. This is a BYOI. Oh, yes. Yeah. With, with, with one or two kind of brands. I, I, this is. <laughs> this is out there, man. Wonderful. This, person <laughs> is this just... is weird. It's I'm like. There's no theme. No, it and is B Y O I. Yeah, you've yeah. been literally. You Let's are our B Y O I. Apart from the uh, independent, Zenith. independent, independent, independent. Weird, like yeah. smartwatch. Not uh, independent. Independent. Well, In <laughs> so at least fifty percent of that is is indie watches. What, what I like about this is, you could take, you, you could take probably ninety percent of that, and not necessarily. You get any idea of what the person is into, but put it all together. This is clearly a watch enthusiast. Yeah. yeah. This is clearly someone who, who has some money to to spend on watches. That Zenith is not a cheap no. watch. Yeah. The Explorer is not a cheap watch. But then they also enjoy the the, the more affordable, the, the the Hamiltons, the Baltics. No, but also the yeah. Schofields. That yeah. Schofield for me is is a great British brand. Yeah. But it's one of those surprises because you don't see. You know, you look at the case, you look at that, how it's designed. Mm. That for me was the kind of like, oh, hello. As soon as you went bang and then you went Schofield, I was like, oh, yeah. this guy actually has, when you look at it on the, on this, you know, we're looking at it further away. Yeah. You're thinking, oh, it's, it's quite vanilla. And then you jump into it and you're like, going, oh, hello. Yeah. There's, Good there's morning. Little touches of color. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Lots what, of different strap options. It's just everything. I it's don't just, know how I'd is, rate this. Yeah. I can I, I I'm I'm gonna be going for an eight on this. I think it's a really good collection. I think um the Garmin is the only one that's the outlier, the but I think that it's freaking cool. I'm doing an eight. I'd I'd probably do an eight as well, on the grounds that it, it's not a ten because there's for me probably just too many watches there. I like small collections. 
Um, and so I'd maybe whittle a few you out. And I won't get on. Um, no, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> I, I really, I admire and I, I, I credit the bravery here. This is just a swashbuckling collection. You've got basically a Rolex homage board. There's some, there's some sort of um, taboos in here. This person just has no Fs to give. It, it, I love yes, that yeah, swashbuckling. I, I, I really like that. I, I applaud that. And, and the investment in and support of micro brands. Because you, you, you have to be brave in, bu in buying a, a micro brand because no you don't know what you're getting. Like you, would, you asked a question on, on a meetup. Mm. <laughs> I'm talking to this guy. Yeah, I, I'm talking to this guy and actually I'm going to be talking to this guy even more if he turned up with some of these watches. I would even, if I was at a supper or a drink or something like that, I would go and chat to him and say, <laughs> why, what, how, yeah. tell me the story, I want to yeah. know and tell me about that brand. Mm. Because I feel like this person's just not judgmental, open-minded. They've put a Garmin in there. They did, that didn't need to even be there. The Garmin. But in the fact, you got a Garmin you know? next to a Zenith. Yeah, next to a Phil and Murray dress watch. That's, like this. That's this awesome. Person's wild. I feel yeah. like they're going to be cool. very interesting. Okay. I'm giving it an eight as well. Cool, solid eight. So, so that's. I think that's eight. Three eights. Mm. Three eights. Ding. Cool. Next. Well next Oops. one. This is fun. So this one we have Watch Talk PH. Okay. Uh, so he's just given us a list of, of his of his watches. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and this, oh, cool. here we go. And some really uh, some pretty color. epic. So we've got let's zoom in a bit here. So we've got a Tissot, Tissot PRX. We've got a Seiko. It's a Seiko Five. Oh, that's a GMT yeah. version. Uh, Speedmaster. Speedmaster Pro. Christopher Ward. Can't make out what that is. Another Seiko. That looks like the, the SKX as opposed to the Seiko Five. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a? Um, Zelos? It looks like a Zelos yeah, logo. Could be. Chunky. Yeah. Uh, got a Cartier, another Seiko, and another Zen? No. That I recognise it. That it's... kind of reminds me of. Um... Tim's picture is not. Great. I kind of want to be R A D or Captain Captain, Captain, Captain oh, Cook. Oh, it's on the Captain list. Captain 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 Cook. Of course, it's, oh, it's on the list. Captain Cook. Who it's made the Captain, Captain Cook? Oh, it's a Captain, Captain Cook world timer. Rado. Balls. Don't look. Here we go. Captain Cook. Zellers. Righto. Captain yeah. Cook. Yeah. Over, it's the Overpole, which has the cities on it. Yeah. Sweet. And then we've got Black Bay Pro. Good call. Yeah. Uh, Panerai. Panerai and... The Oris. This is one of the limited oh, that's, edition. That might be either the... Oh, no, it's not limited edition, but I love that one. It's a light And then there. what's down here? He's got oh, yeah. He's got so a, then we've got... Uh, it looks like a vintage Longines, perhaps. We do have a list of this in a Baltic. Yeah. Another Baltic and mechanical Baltic, one. Another Baltic, yeah. Yeah. I oh, know, we moved up. So, we love the this kind of uh, figuring out what you've got in your collection already. <laughs> Despite the fact that you've clearly given us a list of uh, everything. Yeah. Uh, but this, and you've read these before. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. No, no. I, I, I just had a, a, a quick glance through. Um, How are we feeling about it, just generally? Because firstly, I think it, it's, this, this, this has cohesion that the last collection does not for me. This scares um, me. This scares me. Why? Because you need a safe mate. That's the only thing I would say is that this watch is, if you keep it like this, please put it in a safe. Um, Why? Because if you're having, uh, just keep your watches secure, okay? <laughs> That's my only thing. Uncle I George just has some security tips to kick off. But <laughs> go on, Andrew. Uh, I, I just that it lacks cohesion. The, the last collection for me was wild and wonderful, whereas this one's very tight, locked down. Great mix of colours, nice. great mix of intentions. We've got a dress watch, we've got dive watches. We have, um, and for me, that, that there's a couple in there that are my favourite of those brands. I, I absolutely love that Diver 65 with like the super, sort of superhero um, radio radioactive loom. And I love that Cartier as a, as a subtle dress watch. And the SKX 007, probably the, until the SPB 143 came along from Seiko, that was just standard entry level. So this ticks a lot of boxes. I'm going to give this a nine. I think wow. this is brilliant. Yeah, yeah I think this is very wow. solid. Um, I, I feel, I, I, on one side, I love the, the lineup and I love the box. I love the straps. I love the little tools. Mm. Um, on the other side, it, I, I'm not a fan of, of big collections. Um, I, I would take a few out. I feel there's a little bit of repetition with with the the Seiko Five Sports, yeah, but... but then at the same time they're not watches that break the bank, and they are completely different colorways. And so, cool. so if you're going to buy a, a watch and you like your watch watches to match your outfit, then Seiko Fives are the perfect way to do that. Uh, I thinking? would. I feel like I'm talking my way into ranking it quite high. I think it's quite solid. There weren't too many criticisms in there. Go on. <laughs> no, no. I I I give it an eight. I give it an eight. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it an eight. I kind of. Why uh, did it scare you, George? Why it scares me is because. No, I, I like the collection. I like the collection. It's just more because I know that he keeps his watches like that. And whatever the case is, is I always say, please just keep them safe. These are things that are tals talismans in your life. And each point is a talisman. We say talisman, but they're points. And, mm. and just keep these safe, please. But that's me being a, a daddy figure and saying, hey, dude. <laughs> Uncle George. Um, <laughs> but I love the idea of you um, changing the straps because I love that game. I would go for eight as well. There's also indies in here. Mm. I, 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 I think you're across the board. And oh, also, also the other thing is, you haven't gone down the cliche, I don't think, of having a Submariner in there. You've gone the Seiko versions, and I freaking love that. Yeah. I also love that Panerai. I love the t love what yeah. you put in That's, there. So, that was my first so, so I'm, I'm going to be going... I, I'm going eight. I, I, okay. I think the only thing that puts me off is, is the fact that everything's stock. Everything's on, on straps and bracelets as, as they came. But you can see he yeah. obviously no, he plays hacks. with it. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. I'd eight. Cool. But yeah, very solid. Nice one. Christopher Brixen. Ooh. So, huge fan of the show. Thanks, buddy. Um, I can I'm see a, a tag of... hoyer. <laughs> no, I don't think there's a tag Yes! Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck me. It's a, it's a dark this Lord. This is cool. The new Dark Lord. Oh, oh, and hello. Yeah, yeah. the version 1920. Hello. And, and for you, yeah. hello. I know. This is speaking to this. all of us in different ways. And there's a MacGyver Ooh. picture in there as well. There's MacGyver in there. Oh, yeah. Another <laughs> one of my favorite things. So the first thing that I love about this collection, there's, there's obviously details in it that I love, but I love the size. This is my size of I, watch collection. I think I, he has more watches. This is what he's quite, quite, quite possibly. I feel like this is curated very carefully. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, you yeah, know, you're probably me, right. Yeah, this is everything me, that we talked about, right? Him. <laughs> him. This, this has been mentioned many times. This has been met. You've only worn this in 90% of the episode. Really? Never. <laughs> this has come up many times. Yeah. This George is basically just, you know, drink a George, shot. George has got half the screen. George has got half. <laughs> no, I, I, I like this is like here. <laughs> he's, he's definitely playing us. This person's playing us. And you know what? I think it's so far working. <laughs> it, it is. It is. But but the, for me, this is a collection that I absolutely love because it, it covers all oh, bases. Yeah. You've you've got your your fun. You've got your daily. You've got your your dress and just and, and you've got and a like diver. Cappers, right? So you've got diver, automotive, dress, and Stunning and sort of dress. era correct. The do it all one watch, and then the microbrand. It's like, dude, you are just a clinician. Yeah. Mi microbrand and horology together. It's, it's, so this is Aqua a, Racer. Aqua Aqua Racer. Racer. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Tag Aqua Racer. Monaco. Monaco. And then that's a Dark Lord Monaco, which is recent, the 1921. That's one of my favourites. Explorer and uh, Suit Underdog. But but what, what I like about this is it, it, it covers all bases. It covers all bases, it, it covers do. all price ranges. Chronograph. So what are you rating it? Absolutely. 11 out of 10. 10. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 10 too. I'm giving it oh, a really? 9. I'm giving it a 9 because I want a GMT. Like, I'm going to be greedy. I want to add a GMT to that. No, mix. no, because, because no, it's perfect combination. <laughs> because, You've got because, a tag hoyer no. combination here. I'm you don't want two nine. Rolexes. It's a nine, the average two is, tags are perfect. Average is 9.7. Two, two tags is perfect. So that's that's the highest yet. Okay. Yeah, nice. Nine. I'm Champion. Cool. So Albert Assey. Ooh. Uh, so brand new Submariner, we've got the, the Moose Watch on rubber, we've got uh, a System 51 mm. rubber, Aqua Racer, and then we have a vintage Omega, Ooh, I love that. which was his mm. dad's. That's good character. I love the, ha the haunts of that, the uh, haunches of that watch. It's... Oh, go on, Andrew. Andrew, what do you think? Hmm... Academically, like uh, my right brain says balance, it says vintage, it says um, play watches with your, uh, the, the two swatches there, and then you've got your kind of your big boy watch in the sub, but you've got kind of got 50% of this to me is like weekend play watch. Mm. So I feel like there's a bit of maturing to go here, but you're really ticking a lot of boxes in terms of um, good, you know, you've got your, your sub and you've got your, your tag. And then you've got your vintage watch for, for going out. So I'm going to give this a seven. I feel like it's a it's a strong collection. There's some really strong pillars to this collection. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I think, you know, if there was a Cartier in there, something to, to, to add some class and elegance and then maybe some, some complications. Uh, there's no complications in this mix. So it's a seven for me. 
From the point of view of owning this, I, I feel like there's a huge amount of symmetry between this and my watches. I, 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 I slightly thought that. <laughs> <laughs> with the vintage Omega, that, that's that's from the, in the family. With the the swatches, the uh, the perhaps younger um, tag, and then the G-Shocks, and the so for for me, these are a lot of watches that I would own and do own. So for that reason, I'd give it an eight. But if we're looking at the viewpoint of a watch meetup, there's nothing to talk about no. in here. See, I yeah. disagree with you. No, the Amiga. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the George Amiga. George and I are going to chat about this Amiga. Amiga, for me, is your the one that, the, like, that if that if I saw that yes. there, I want to know the story. It's like the Ranchero yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. It's like whatever watch. I want to know the story. That is the watch. But that, that's, for that's me, the only watch that has yeah, a story. No, but that it, look the other story. I'm sure they've all got other stories. I actually, I would probably say these two, the Swatch and the Omega, mm -hmm. for me would be the two because I actually think if you turned up to a meet with something like that, you've got bigger balls than most people yes. to turn up with. Well, this yes. one actually and, has a this one has great legitimacy. Yeah. As in, it was swatches. They brought back the mechanical swatch with yeah. this watch. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2014, I believe, uh, we, we covered this in Hardware Lane in Melbourne, did an amazing shoot with it. It's transparent. It's a really fantastic it's a, watch. It's, that's what I mean. Is yeah. these, these two yeah. are your You've stories. You've got big nuts. Because, those those yeah. two, you know, to turn yeah. up to a swatch with a, with a meat. But also, I would ask, if, if you're wearing this, mm. I would ask you a question. I'd be like, oh, my God, I haven't seen yeah. that. Tell me. Or, you know, why, when did you get it? I want to know the story of those two watches. The others, I, look, I would say to you is they're, really, they're nice watches. Mm. The G-Shock, I would say with that armor on it, I, I'm like, it's quite a cool thing to have the armor on a G-Shock. <laughs> I, I will say to you it's quite a cool thing. Yeah, it would be but, massively beefy. But those are the two. And this so, is almost this is almost certainly going to be an 18th watch. I'm yeah, that's, 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 that's exactly so what it was. What, what was your rating? Seven. What was yours? I'll go with seven. I'm going eight. Okay. All oh, right. Yep. Interesting. Seven point three. Seven point three average. Yep. So this is HP Ooh, watch yes. shots. I like that top left. So Basquiat. we have uh, a big. I don't know what the, what is That's that? a basket watch. That's a watch. That's a watch. Okay. A we've got a Seiko Chrono. We've got a Seiko. Uh, I can't remember. That's an Alpinist. Yeah. Uh, Seiko SPB one four five. Yeah, uh, we've got the, the FW classic FW. Uh, oh, like G-Shock, G-Shock. What is that? I want. I just got a list here. I know. I remember. Uh, so that is gonna. Yeah, uh, Jungens. Oh, Jungens. oh, Jungens. Vintage Jungens, nice. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, and then another G-Shock and uh, a beastly Citizen Eco Drive. I can't remember what that thing is. Is that a depth rating? Oh, Citizen. That doesn't say what it is. Adrian. I love it. I, I, I think this is an awesome collection. I, I like the photograph of it as well. I, I, like, uh, I like the variety. I like the playfulness that's in there. I like the beefiness, the, the adventure. The, I like the little touch of... I feel like this is considered. There's a bit of fun. Nothing too serious going on. Nothing too serious going on. Um, a bit of history. Don't know what the story is behind this, but but you want to know. I want to know the story. Yeah. Um, I want to know what about this thing here, and this just shows yeah. that it's it's fun. I, I actually really like this collection. I think it's. I'd de I'd give this a ten. Yeah. George, I'm kind of going to say a nine. I like I like the collection. I think it is. It's weird, but it's not weird enough for me. And when I've given a 10 before, I would say 9 is, is where I sit on it. I like, like all the things. I like the Casios. I like the things. I feel like you need one other weird or you need something a bit brighter on colours for me. But that's me. I love this area and I love way, what you're doing with your collection. I mean, like, mm -hmm. this is your collection. Yeah. yeah. This, this is you. I, I, I don't... I, I want to get to know you. But it's nice. And a, a lot of people criticise me and, and others when they have... Uh, either one brand collections mm -hmm. or a slim variety of brands but I feel like sometimes when you find a brand that has a design signature that you like yeah. Why you not? go with it yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I it's, agree. Uh, yeah. And, and so there's stuff that Rolex and Omega do that I just like Yeah. Uh, and this guy obviously enjoys G-Shock and obviously yeah. enjoys uh, Seiko and I, I think that's pretty cool Andrew? I love it. I absolutely love it. And to me, this is the whole collection. And it shows that, it, to me, 
the, the excitement I get looking at this collection is it shows that money isn't always a factor in building a fantastic so, collection. Yeah. We have one of the, this, this is a That's watch a that, that watch. it's an absolutely unimpeachable watch. And just like the 143 that we talk so much about. I mean, oh, right. So yeah, th this is just a wonderful dive watch that, that harkens back to Seiko's early dive watches in the 60s. The Alpinist is, is one of the cool. coolest, the dial, coolest watches. Dial, and then amazing. you've got a Fume Green dial. And then you've got, so what we're covering here is dive, um, cool. Alpine and adventure, and then automotive and sports timing. And you've got basically a Panda that, again, I think this is, this is a recent Seiko that has that Daytona style uh, bezel. But it just shows you, you're really not left wanting. You've got this art piece here. The only thing that I would love to see in here that I just think would make this a 10 for me, a reverso. Sort of an artistically driven high-end piece as opposed to a height piece. Something that had a bit of curiosity to it. Like imagine a burgundy reverso or something in this mix. Because again, I'm not trying to say you need to spend more to get a 10. It's just that I would like to see... A you, you could get, I think, is it Citizen? Do a little uh, reverso, quartz reverso style. See, yeah, um, it doesn't have to be a If you're going that jet. way, I would, go, I would go for a vintage something in here and you could find something that gives you that element of a reverso mm -hmm. without the reverso price. Maybe a Hamilton uh, Bol Bolton yeah, as well is another one that's in that I, sort I of think shape. this collection is killer. Yeah. But it's, really. it's fantastic. It's nine. It makes me really happy. And it makes I me love think, that this yeah, is here. This is, but this yeah, is, you know, cool. you know how some of them had great watches but haven't had that sense of cohesion? Mm. This is, like, it, this is a brilliantly considered sure. co collection. It, everything is fantastic. Yeah. It's a nine. So it's a 9.3. That's a wow. really high number. I think okay. that's equal. Next one. Well, ending on a high. That's I'm it. Giving it. Is that it? Yeah. We're going 40 minutes. Okay. <laughs> I want to keep can going. I, can I just tell Let's... you something that winds me up? Yes. And it really does wind me up is this snobbery around quartz. That does the, What a perfect it, place to start it from. It yeah. really, really, really winds me up. The quartz is something that if you do your research, it almost decimated the Swiss watch world. And for me, that is something that I look at and I'm like going, you have to respect quartz. You have to respect quartz watches. You have to have some knowledge on quartz. And when someone goes, oh, it's quartz, huh? You know, you're like going, shut the f up and really actually get on and understand quartz. There is major brands from Patek to FP Jean to APs to um, every single major brand had a quartz watch in in the eight, um, 70s and 80s. So when I would say to you is, that's something that bugs me. Mm, and also, it. as we review collections now, I just love seeing a cheeky G-Shock or a cheeky... Swatch or... Swatch, and it, yeah. What do you think? Swatch brand I mean, was built on quartz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you think balance. of what they own. And like, yeah, who owns half the industry? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> so respect quartz. That's my thing. Yeah. 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 And, and, and it, to, 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 to discount quartz, just because it's quartz. Just, You're a it, snob. It, 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 well, yeah, without a doubt. A and snob. you wouldn't get a 10 from us for your collection. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can this, we do this again? I want to do it again, Adrian. This, this, I know you fun. wanted to just lock it at six. But let's do another episode. You want to do another episode? Yes, please, George. I, I, I think I, th I think I think we're gonna we're gonna do another. <laughs> Sometime soon, we're gonna it. do another episode. <laughs> cool. No, I'm cool. Okay. This, uh, this is really interesting. Anyway, Guys, thanks so much. Oh, for actually. The wind up was brought to you by oh, yes. the wind <laughs> <laughs> This Polish. is. Wait, 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 um, say anything, yes, exactly. I love he does it with his t shirt every time. Standard H, by the way. Great podcast. <laughs> um, this is a the way that you can help us do us and, and help you. That's not fair. Uh, help us help you. Um, help us which do, is. Do. Help, I don't know. Okay. Help us Go help on. you. No, this is um, our collaboration with Wolf. We chose this particular winder because it is the best of every. Everything. It's got the gunmetal grey, it's got the grill like a speaker, it's got the counting of turns, it has our faces on there, uh, it has everything. So That's please gorgeous. consider that and then you can bring your own watch to any place you go. And now I'm going to bring you to an independent, I'm going to bring my own. Hello. Cool. Ooh, go for it. Hello. Yeah. So there is a chap called Ruben Schutz in Canberra, Australia, who, it's the strangest story. It's, he is this latter day George Daniels' disciple. Oh, right. Okay. I think you've heard about this chap. Yeah. Yes. And he set out to. He is setting out to build a watch by the by the George Daniels method. 
Now, this is a little bit like um, Cool Runnings. Yeah. You know, the Jamaican bobsled team? <laughs> With the egg. <laughs> He's a long way from the action no, <laughs> in Canberra, I, I wanna, Australia. Yeah. But you know what? Ruben, you are winning. I am pr so proud of you. Wow. Ruben is a person we, in his uh, early days, we profiled Ruben in his very, very early days before there was any proof that he would materialise his dream. Uh, he had an opiate addiction. He beat this addiction. He, wow. he's, he has poured himself into this hobby with single-minded focus. And how's this for a point in time? When we first covered him, he hadn't even released his first watch, the Series 1, I believe it was called. As it stands now, about three weeks ago, he had a watch, one of his uh, watches appear on Loop This, which is yeah. uh, Eric Koo's uh, second-hand platform in Los Angeles, and it achieved a result of 20,000 US dollars. Uh, so he is now producing watches. He is producing them un with his very strict George Daniels method. And I hope one day, Roger Smith, I don't know if you watch our show, but we are big fans of yours. And I hope that Ruben Schutz is coming to your attention because he would love to meet you. And I think it's, I speak for everyone in Australia and, and all, all enthusiasts of handmade watchmaking when I say that it would be Ruben's greatest dream to meet with you and talk to you about George Daniels wow. and to share with you his incredible journey wow. from having a dream uh, that we covered in our first magazine to now where he is now has a has clients that are that are lining up to be part of his uh, very, very, um, how do I say this? This, this, the cool runnings of watchmaking in Australia is is gathering momentum. So, this. Ruben, so cool. good on you, my friend, and I am proud and happy to keep supporting you in this journey. And that is the end of this episode, I think. And Amazing. We're going to rate more watches soon. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this, then give a little thumbs up. If you want to join us and subscribe, we have a podcast. There'll be a link in the description down there. Go check it out. It's a paid for podcast. It supports us, allows us to do what we do here. Follow us on Instagram about dot effing dot time. So good at this, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I'm reading it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.